University of Idaho head football coach Jason X career has gone full circle. His first full time coaching job was with the Vandals in 2004. Now he's back as the man in charge. Sports director Travis Green sat down with the first year head coach to talk about uh, everything over in Moscow and Saturday's Battle of the Palouse. What is that like coming back all these years later? How much has changed, all that? You know, it's fun because you see a lot of familiar faces. You know, a lot of our boosters are the same boosters that were here back in, you know, 2004 when I got here the first time. But it's also neat seeing how the town changed. My wife was very excited there's a Target now. There was not a Target here last time we were here. So there's been some improvements as well. But uh, it's good to see how the university has grown uh, over time. But uh, it's also nice to have a lot of familiarity. Big game to open the season. Big one here, Battle of the Palouse, the first since 2016, actually. Uh, what are the jitters like, the feels like heading into this game? A big one to start. It, it's definitely a uh, different feeling going and being the head coach because, you know, when you're, when you're a position coach, uh, you know, you're in your silo of your position that you're worried about. Now, uh, when you're a coordinator, you're worried about the whole side of the ball. Now you're worried about everything that could go wrong in the game and making sure, you know, the kicking game is good and things like that. So, you know, definitely some jitters going into the first game. It's just a different experience. What do you think this game means to the area? Obviously a rival game of some sort, you I, know? I, I think it's great. You know, when I was here, we played it every year, the three years I was here previously. So I, I think it's a neat game to have, uh, you know, across the Palouse. And, you know, our players see these guys around town. You know, the, you'll see... Uh, you know, people from Washington State coming over to the restaurants in Moscow and things. So there's definitely some bragging rights there. And, you know, such a unique game to have a, a game that's eight miles away. Being at the Division One level, this is one of the most unique, you know, rivalries being that close. And uh, we have them on the schedule a lot coming up because it's such a uh, great game for our fans and our players so their families can see and play. And I think it's something for our, our fan base to get excited about with the Battle of the Blues. We're talking more about this game. There's a tie. Uh, head coach Jake Digger and yourself, you both coached together at two stops in college, most recently South Dakota State. Uh, what's it going to be like going up against him now that you're both in charge? Uh, it'll be fun. You know, we, were, we were just texting the other day, and uh, you know, he's, he's a good friend. We were cheering for him when he was the interim coach, and uh, very happy he got the opportunity. And uh, after September 3rd, I'll be rooting for him. No, no favors on September 3rd, but after September 3rd, I, uh, I'm, I'm a, uh, a fan of theirs. <laughs> Any fun trash talk going on between the two of you? Well, he did. He asked, he, he told me that uh, if I told him uh, who our starting quarterback is, he'd, he'd uh, tell me who his is. And I, I said, <laughs> I think we can both figure that out. Uh, you, you know, I probably could figure it out a little better. Yeah. They're, uh, you know, they're, I think their quarterback has a nicer car than I have with his deal. So I figured uh, I, I was pretty easy to decide who their starting quarterback was. But uh, it's right. kind of nice because, you know, head coaches usually always meet at the 50 yard line and talk before the game. And like if we had Alabama, I don't know what I'd, me and Saban would talk about. So at least, you know, him and I are going to have some stories to like tell and uh, talk back and forth because I, yeah. I, I don't know what I'd talk to Nick about. <laughs> I think it's safe to say Cam Ward's starting over there. At yeah, WSU. I feel pretty confident <laughs> with that. He's a good player. Big picture here. How long do you think it'll take to get the program where it's it feels like yours and where you want it to be? Well, I, I feel like it's 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 ours already, and you know I, I tell our team you know I got a five year contract, but our, our seniors don't. You know they they got one year, so we're we're trying everything we can this year to to get this team to be a playoff team, and uh, you know we're hoping to do it quick. I'm not going to be discouraged or you know or devastated if we're not a playoff team this year. I, I want to make sure we have growth and that we're continuing to get better. Uh, I, I certainly believe we are going to turn the tide and make this program a power in the uh, in the FCS and in this Big Sky Conference. It's a matter of time. I, I haven't got the definitive time, but I'm impatient, so we're going to try as, as hell to make it right away this year. Seems like he's got a good outlook. He seems like a nice guy, yeah, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, good luck to him. By the way, you can watch the full interview with Coach Eck on our website, creme.com, or you can also find it on our Creme2 YouTube page.